In this tutorial, we'll create a simple fire animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Let's get to it. Once you are in After Effects, create a new composition. Click OK. Then select the pen tool or you can press G on your keyboard. Make sure it has fill set to a solid color and doesn't need to have stroke, set it to none. Then click on this button here and select Tidal Action Safe. Then roughly create a shape that looks like this. You don't need to be super precise, just do something similar. Now if you hold your alt and hover over the point, you'll see that the cursor will turn into a different one. To do that, hold your alt and click on the point. Then you'll get access to the Bezier handles. To do that for the bottom three points. Now while the right path point is selected, hold your alt and drag the Bezier handle, the top one, down. Almost all the way in. Then select the left point without holding alt. Now hold your alt and drag the Bezier handle almost all the way down. You should get a similar shape in the end, so just go for that. I'm also going to rename the shape to fire, just to stay organized as always. Now we can add our main effect that drives the animation. So go to effects and presets and search for wave warp. Apply this to the fire layer. Then go to effect controls panel. Set direction to zero. Wave width to 250. Wave height to 30 and also wave speed to 2 and pinning should be set to bottom edge this is starting to come together and sort of look like fire and now we can proceed to duplicating the layers but before that let's go to effects and presets and search for fill to give us some color add fill to the fire layer then go to color and choose your own color as you like so I'm going to choose something like more yellowy and also remember the color so open the color if you closed it, copy the hex code, press Ctrl C and click OK. We'll need the color for later. Select the fire layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go into fill properties and change the color. I'm going to choose something more orangey this time. Press S on your keyboard, bring up the scale properties, set scale to 70% and then you can manually position the smaller fire inside the bigger one. Then duplicate fire to layer again. Go to colors and paste that original yellow cover that we saved. Then keeping the fire three layer selected, press S again to bring up the scale properties and further decrease the scale to 40%. Then manually position it in the center. And that's what we have at the moment. So it kind of looks like fire with different layers of color. Let's now add Gaussian blur. So search for Gaussian blur in effects and presets. Uh, apply this to the fire 2 layer first. Increase blurriness until you see it fit. So I'm going to set mine to 60 pixels. Should be fine. Then select the Gaussian blur, press Ctrl C to copy it and paste it into fire 3 layer. And that looks more organic to me now. You can also paste it into the original fire layer. Just make sure you drop the blurriness low to maybe 10% so the edges are not too sharp and crisp. At this point, we can select all the layers, then right click and select pre-compose. I'm going to name this one fire. Let's quickly create a background. Right click, new solid. And let's call this BG. Click OK and place it under the fire layer. Then go to effects and presets. Then search for gradient ramp. It'll be under generate. Add gradient ramp to the BG layer. And then again, choose the colors that you like. I'm going to select darker colors that really match the scene and also at the end make sure to set wrap scatter to 300 so you don't get color bandings as much although you would see them on YouTube anyway. Well this really looks like fire now but one thing I like to change is go back to the fire pre-compose select fire number 3 and 2 and pair them using the pick whip to the main fire layer so they can move together. Then select the fire layer and position it down on the edge. So the fire looks like it's coming from the bottom, not from the center. It is finally time to add glue. An effect that will really sell this animation. Go to effects and presets, search for glue, will be under stylize. Add this to the fire layer. And now adjust the settings. So first, increase the glow threshold all the way to 100 and set glow radius to 100 you'll get a soft glow and also set glow intensity to 0.8 now select the glow and press ctrl d to duplicate it click on reset 
And glow threshold should be set at 60. And glow radius set it really high to 600. And again, glow intensity set it to 0.8. So one cool thing we're going to do to create a flickering animation is to hold your alt and click on the glow radius stopwatch. And here you'll need to enter a simple expression, just follow along, type wiggle, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and inside the parenthesis type 5, 200. And click somewhere, and that should be applied. And if you preview this now, you can see the flickering animation. That looks cool on the fire. And that pretty much wraps up the tutorial on how to create a simple fire animation in Adobe After Effects. You can always select the fire layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and have multiple fires in your scene. So, do as many as you like. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like and make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future videos like this. So, thank you for watching once again, and see you in the next one.